Good evening and welcome to the Motorman Match Preview Show. It's match day as Vauxhall Motors face off against Runcorn Town in the Cheshire Senior Cup. I'm Patrick Bratton and I'm joined today by Ethan Hoyard to once again present the, ho- the present the show from home due to COVID. In today's build-up show, we speak to boss Mick McGraw after Saturday's draw away at Ireland, along with watching the highlights from that game and going behind the scenes at the RJ3 Digital Stadium. We also review last time out against Runcorn Town which ended in a 2-2 draw at the Viridor Community Stadium just three weeks ago. Let's look at tonight's opposition, Runcorn Town. Town remained without a permanent manager following the departure of Paul McManus just last week. A 4-1 defeat to Charnock Richard, sealing his fate as Town slipped to 18th in the table, just one point above the relegation zone. Moving on to the moment, we face a strong girl outside in Manchester on Saturday afternoon. Spectacular goals from Sam Felwell and Leo Riley put the motormen 2-0 up before the sending off from midfielder Tom Murray meant the motors went down to 10 men and went through 2 down just shortly afterwards. A goal from Ben Holmes scored to cure the points for the motormen but missed chances in the last 10 minutes meant that we couldn't take all three points back to our near post. Let's take a look at the match highlights. After the game, we spoke to boss Mick McGrath about his team's performance and his thoughts on yet another red card, as well as previewing today's game against Runcorn. Mick, a tough result. How tough is it to take after being 2-0 up? Yeah, it's tough. Um, another game, another red card. But petulance again. You know, we've got to learn. Cruising 2-0. Two, two you get a man sent off and we dug in deep and got a point in the end, which... You know, which we're happy with. And then on the subject of the red card, this time for Tom Murray, what were your thoughts? It's a red card. The red card, he's lashed out. Can't say nothing. Can't say nothing about it at all. It's a red card. And then a goal from Ben Holmes, a good performance. What were your thoughts on that? I think everyone played well. I think obviously we're 2 0 up, cruising, better team. Um, 
man sent off and then we concede from that. Two one. Half time get in, give him a game plan, don't listen. End up being three two down after what? After ten minutes. And then you know what the lads dug in. They changed the formation, the lads dug in and, and you know, we, to be honest we could have nicked it at the end, you know. And a great free kick goal from Leo Riley. How good was that to see? Yeah, it is. He's, he scores goals Leo from midfield, doesn't he? And you know, he's been left off the squad, left off the eleven a couple of times because obviously he weren't great. He's come back in and you know he's, he's done really well. I'm happy with him. And then a busy spell now with lots of home games in quick succession. How good will it be to return home? Well, we've had what, eight away games out of, out of nine, which it just baffles you how you can do it, but. You know, we're in a good position considering we've had so many away games and we're happy where we are. We should have a few more points on the board, but we haven't, but you know, we'll move on. Thank you. <clears throat> we also went behind the scenes at the RJ3 Digital Stadium in the draw on Saturday afternoon. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't want to waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun against Runcorn Town just two weeks ago today. McGraw's side visited the Viridor Community Stadium looking to return home with all three points to push us up the league table. A poor first half performance meant that we went down by two goals to nil before the red card for Motors winger Joe Brandon. But then goals from Ben Holmes and Kieran Napa secured a point for the motormen when all three should have been taken due to missed chances once again towards the end of the game. We look back with our match highlights from this game in Runcorn.
That's all from us today. Thank you for tuning in to today's Motorman Match Preview Show. We'll be back from 2.15pm on Saturday for the game against North Shield in the Build Base FA Vars first round proper. I've been Patrick Bratton. And I've been Ethan Hoyog. Enjoy the game and back the moment to, bro- to progress into the next round of the Cup.